welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play the main section of Fur Elise by Beethoven. So we're going to start with the right hand first. So if you locate where middle C on your piano is, mine is here. So I'm going to be starting just over an octave above middle C. And you're going to place your little finger on the E. And you're going to use your five and your four to play E, D sharp, like this. So you're going to do five of those, one, two, three, four, five, and then B, D, C, A. That's the first part, let's try that again. And then you're going to move to middle C and you're going to play C, E, A, B. And if you can try playing with these fingers, one, two, four, five. And then you're going to play E, G sharp, B, C. E, G sharp, B, C. And then it starts again. So before you go back into that part, you're going to play the E below that one before you go into that one. And the second time you repeat it, instead you play E, C, B, A. So we're going to have a look at the left hand now. The left hand starts on the A over an octave below middle C. And you're going to play A, E, A. And then you're going to move down to a low E. And you're going to play E and then the octave of the E above that one and then cross your second finger over to the G sharp and then back to the A shape again. So the first part you're only really using those two shapes, so the A So I'm going to very slowly Pop that first section, hands together. And then all of that repeats one more time before we go into the next part. So the next part is the... So because of my camera, I have to play some of what the left hand is meant to play and the actual score in my right hand because I can't actually cross... the camera is here. So I can't actually cross my left hand over, so I'll have to just play it in the right hand. So you can do the same as well, but I'll explain both ways. So the right hand, you're going to start with your thumb on B, and you're going to play B, C, D, E, and then G, F, E, D. That shape goes down again. F, E, D, C, and it goes down again. E, D, C, 
B. Let's try that again. So the left hand part with that, you're going to play C, G and C and then you're going to move down to G and then the G above that one and then cross over to B and then back to that A position again, A, E, A and then you're going to play a low E the E above that one and then the E above that one. So I'll do that left hand one more time. So I'm going to put that little section hands together now very slowly. So the little bit left to do is after you've gone you're then going to play that E again in your right hand and the E above that one and then your left hand is going to play it but as I said I can't reach that so you're just going to play that again and then you're going to do the same again but an octave higher E to E so you're just playing E octaves in that part. So if I just play it from the low E here. And then we're going to go back to... So you could just play all this in one hand or you could add a bit of a performance flourish flair and play and share it with both hands. We're going to play the left hand first and the right hand takes over left hand right hand then it settles into the right hand and then back into this part again so you play that one two three four five, six times before you then go into that part. So I'm now going to add all of that section hands together. So that concludes all the sections that I'm going to cover in this tutorial. Um, to make the piece um, sound finished, I'm just going to show you the chord that you, that you end on. So you're going to play a very low A and then the A above that one, obviously you can't quite see it in the shot in the left hand. And then in the right hand, you're going to play E and A and that's how it ends. So I'm just going to play the last part, so after you've done the, um, the E octaves and then you've done this part I'm going to play it to the end now and show you how you can finish it
So if you have a sustain pedal on your piano or keyboard at home, the left hand is sustained throughout the piece, but then when you come to play the right hand, you take the pedal off. So um, I'll just give you an example. So this piece has a lot of momentum and drive and I think the pedal um, is used for the left hand to really drive and, and give that illusion of more movement and momentum so it's carrying it through. So I hope that's been useful. Please give this video a big thumbs up if it has. If you have any song requests, leave them in the comment section below. All requests are noted and considered. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye!